Hey y'all, Stephanie with the Minimalist Mom Life. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what is inside all of our closets. I've done a house tour for you in this house. I have done a kitchen cabinet tour and I'm going to follow that up now with all of the closets in our home. If you're new to my channel, I am a wife and a mom of four kids. A four-year-old boy, three-year-old boy, two-year-old boy, and a ten-month-old baby girl. And we lived in this house for two months. I have all of my previous closet tours from our old house um, in video, so you can definitely check those out to see kind of different layouts and different homes, how we've organized. But I'm going to show you all what we have done here and I hope it encourages you. Okay, so I'm starting with Lucy's closet and nothing in this house is perfect. Keep that in mind. I'm not saying go replicate this exactly. I'm just showing you what we have in our home. So um, the closets in this house, this house was built in the 50s, are like cabinet closets. They're not regular closets, I guess you could say. Um, but they're good for storage, if it turns out. So up at the top, that is actually all just stuff that we are taking on a mission trip to Japan here pretty soon. So none of that is regularly there. Usually that's empty, but we thought that was a great place to put it to keep it out of the way of the kids. There's just like goodie bags and stuff that we're taking to some of the people that we'll be seeing there. And um, then this is the actual normal closet because again, that top is usually empty. So up here um, in these little bins are my memory boxes that I have for each child and I have a video about what is in them but basically I will just collect things um, from their childhood and eventually I can give them these to them with their baby books so one for each kid then I do have all of the kids in one closet and um, if you've been around for a while you might know in our last house we had all six of us in one closet because we had very large closets there and um, but here we don't have that but I do have all of the kids in this one closet and this closet is Lucy's room. So these are all of my boys hanging clothes. The only thing this doesn't include is like some white undershirts, doesn't have their pants, their shorts, their pajamas and underwear, socks, that kind of stuff. But all of their tops are here. Um, and this is for all seasons. So I don't have seasonal wardrobes. We do live in California. Um, but I don't have, you know, more long sleeves or more short sleeves or whatever. This is, this is what they have. Um, and then Lucy's I will, full disclosure, I have things coming in the mail for Lucy that I've been ordering, so she does have more than that, and we do have one load of laundry in the dryer, but you still get the gist of what um, we have for the kids. Then down at the bottom, this is Lucy's, and this has her pajamas, her pants, her bloomers, swimsuits, a little cheerleading uniform, stuff like that in there. So that is her closet. And then um, this pink dresser that I got at Goodwill for like $15, and we painted pink. The top drawer is diapers and Lucy's shoes. Oh, her socks are over here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. The top is her diapers and her shoes and wipes. And then each boy has a drawer for their pajamas, underwear, pants, shorts, that kind of stuff. So that is how we have it organized in Lucy's room. And now I'm going to show you all the linen cabinet. Okay, so this is our super fancy linen cabinet. Just kidding. Um, up at the top I have beach towels. There is one beach towel in the dryer. A couple of extra guest towels, and then we have blankets here. This one is too deep, so there's two of these big blankets um, that we get out to snuggle with. Then my husband has what we call a cubby, just kind of his own junk drawer area, and then his um, like computer case is down there. So that is how we have our linen cabinet organized. I do not keep extra sheets. I <laughs> shared this on Instagram recently. If one of my kids was to get sick, the stomach bug or something, we would wash the sheets, and I imagine they would lay on a towel. While the sheets are in the washing machine, thank God for modern machinery, I don't feel like we have to have um, a whole bunch of extras of everything else. And we do not have a guest bed other than um, this bed in Lucy's room that is, you know, made and everything and can work. We don't have even space to put up like a big inflatable mattress or anything. So that is all we have. That and the couches for guests. Now I will show you our closet. Okay, so this is mine and Jason's closet. Again, like the cabinet style closet. Up the top is just my... Um, breast pump and where we keep lots of like, you know, the papers that you have to organize, accordion files and stuff like that, and my Bible. If I'm reading a book, I keep it up there. I've been asked that before. Um, then at the top here is all of my shoes, except for my boots, which you'll see in just a second, and that's just a flashlight. Then my husband's side of clothes. And then um, we have his pants and my little jewelry organizer separates it over to my side of stuff. And I have a scarf hanger here, all of my clothes. My boots are safe, and then um, my husband's shoes. So pretty simple, that is our closet. I will say really quick, on the back of our um, doors, I forgot to mention this in Lucy's room, we have our jackets hanging, like our bigger ones. You know, like hoodies and stuff. So Lucy has two on the back of hers as well, and my purse, and I only have one purse. Now I'll show you the kids' room. All right, so this is the boys' closet. All three boys are in one room, um, and that's how they would like it to be. So up at the top, we have their little luggage, and we do have a twin-size 
um, inflatable mattress and we do have sheets for that right here. So that is one more way we could um, have one other person over other than the bed in Lucy's room. And then just a hat for the boys, their little guitar, baseball mitt for a t-ball, Legos that have to be kept up and it has quiet time on them because it's for when Lucy is not around. Um, their one basket of toys, I've had plenty of videos on that, y'all don't need to see that again. And then their basket of books, and this is the books that I don't have out for school time in our little preschool cabinet uh, that I have shared with y'all on my kitchen tour. So that is the boys' closet. Again, same thing with them at the back of their um, door is a hanging thing with a whole bunch of jackets for them. And then our last closet I have is just here in the hallway and we have the boys money jars up there. They have a save, spend, um, and give little thing. So I'm going to just go ahead and show this. This is super cute. They made these at Home Depot. It has a save and a give, which we're Dave Ramsey followers. So that's like, then that's their spending money. Um, totally cute. Totally how he would teach to do it. So I thought that was cute, but that's their money stuff when they do their chores. Then we have all of their snowboarding suits or snow suits, I guess. Um, we bought them before we took them snowboarding. We plan to do that every year. So we keep those here. I need to get one. As you can see, I need a big jacket. Um, then down at the bottom is a sock box and a um, shoe box. And that is just the boys. Super easily accessible for them. So they run in the air, put their shoes back, get their socks when they're getting dressed in the morning. So that is all of our closets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any um, videos you would specifically like to see, definitely leave them down in the comments down below and I will see if I can get them for you. I hope you have a wonderful day.